All right, here we go. We're going to do a test of the Bendix model 753 clock radio. Uh, you can look back in there. You can see the clock motor spinning. Can't even hear it. Uh, I've serviced it, greased it, lubed it. That clock keeps perfect time from 1953 to now, and it keeps perfect time down to the second. Uh, just got done recapping this sucker a little bit ago. Not too many in there. There's only five caps in there, plus the big filter cap. That's what those two caps are right there. Replace this one here. A 40, 60, at 150 volt each. And it was leaky. Here's some of the other caps that we changed. These here, two, four, five. So, as usual, anything yellow you see in there are new caps. And there's only really one it was hard to get to. That one right down in there. I don't know if you can see that or not. But that was the hard one right there. So, we're going to fire it up for the first time. Get ready to gonna take some voltages here, too, of it. Got the voltmeter here. So let's fire this up. Should see uh, in some areas about 80, 85 volts. Some areas around 109 to 115 volts uh, on this uh, chassis here. All the resistors I checked, they were all good. So let's fire this thing up and uh, see if we can get anything out of it. And we're going to get a lot of static in here, in this room here, with the fluorescent lights. These roll radios don't have a lot of filtering in them. And I've got it plugged into the wall that's attached to these, the socket that's attached to these overhead lights. So we're going to probably get a little bit of buzzing in here. It's raining outside, so I can't take it outside. And yeah, I can hear a little buzz in there, but that's a good sign. When I first got this radio, it wouldn't even receive. Let's see if we can hear anything. Oh yeah, got something there. Like I said, we're inside, we're not going to pick up a lot. It's raining out. Safe money information. Oh, there we go. Exciting options. You'll learn about that's a great money option that has upside market potential. It's not it's definitely 680 AM. That's a closed station. Upfront bonuses of up to 10%. So we're just going to stay right there. I'm not going to pick too much up inside here. Like I said, these lights, they put a lot of noise out. These fluorescent lights. I can bump it off the station. You can hear that noise there. There's a station back there. That's the fluorescent lights. Also, whilst so we'll stay there for a minute. And let's take a couple readings here and see what we get. Let's see what we get here. Now I strongly believe that we face some uh, hundred two. That's good. In the future. Taking that voltage More reading right here. Politics, national debt. Tremendous volatility. Should we get another one? Should see some 80s somewhere. And many more oh, right there, right on the money. 85, the 86, 87. On green money options, right on the money. The so all the voltages seem to be pretty good. Alright, just wanted to do a quick test here. It's the first time I fired this sucker up. Is an invitation to loss and regret. If you were able to convert some or and all just of got the uh, savings and the antenna money, hooked up with the alligator where clips. Where would never lose value due to market declines and would be able to realize gains from the market. Would that make sense to you? Just a quick test what this Turning is. Turning red money into green money is like magic. Neat little radio. Danger falls away replaced by peace Just AM broadcast. Call us and then we got the clock on it. You can see pictures of it on my previous Facebook postings. You can see the front of it. But I'll do another test when I get it back together completely. I'll take it outside when it stops raining. We'll plug it up, get it outside, and get a little bit better reception away from all these fluorescent lights. All the voltages look good. Got to clean the knobs up. Got a little powder stuff there on the knobs. Let's see here. Isn't it time to stop wow. exposing your really nice volume. Not much of a speaker. Not much of a speaker. You can see it back in there. 
Clock motor. Let's see if we can get a little light back in there on that clock motor. Yeah, you can't even hear that thing. When I first got this clock radio and started it up, it made a little bit of chatter and noise back there. But I took that all apart, serviced it, oiled it, and it's keeping beautiful time. Alright, that was just a little quick test of the uh, Bendix Model 753M clock radio, also called the Marion, is the other nickname. So we'll do a vid another video when I get back in the case, everything put back together, and we'll get it outside, get a, bit, a little bit better reception with it. These old AM broadcast tube sets really, really don't have a lot, really good, super good uh, receive anyhow. But just wanted to do a quick test to show everybody what's going on here. Don't want to fool around with it too much like this. Chassis is not hot, but you got to be careful with these old radios. It'll put you on the floor. All right, that's it. Uh, we'll do another video here later tonight or tomorrow of it back inside the cabinet. There we go. Not too bad. 1953 Bendix Model 753M clock radio. Cabinet in beautiful shape. You really can't tell too much there, but that wood grain is like that right there all the way around. Hardly a mark on it. Yeah, this will definitely look nice sitting on top of my Zenith console. Alright, catch you guys later. See ya!